but the poor boy is already beside himself. He makes his way screaming through the crowd to the sorrel nag, puts his arms around her bleeding dead muzzle and kisses it, kisses the eyes and the lips. Then suddenly he jumps up and flies in a frenzy with his little fists out of Mikolaka. At that instant his father, who had long been running after him, snatches him up and carries him out of the crowd. Come along, come, let's go home. Father, why did they kill the poor horse? He sobs, but his breath catches and the words come out in shrieks from his panting chest. They are drunk, fooling around. It's not our business, says his father. He puts his arms around his father, but he feels choked, choked. He tries to draw a breath, to cry out, and wakes up. He woke up sweating, gasping for breath. His hair soaked with perspiration, and he stood up in terror. Strasny. Yes. <laughs> 